Have you ever noticed that in a crash, cars seem to compress? This is actually a safety design feature. In this video, we will be learning about deceleration, the dangers of large decelerations, and the safety features we have to reduce these dangers. Before we start, you should really know what momentum is, so if you have forgotten, you may want to watch these videos first. When an object decelerates, it loses momentum. In a car crash, the car decelerates rapidly, losing its momentum really quickly. Because momentum, force and time are connected, this means that the car and passenger inside experience a lot of force, which can cause injuries. If the deceleration happens really quickly, so a very short time, the force is greater on the car and the passengers than if a car takes longer to decelerate. This force can cause injuries such as whiplash to the neck and traumatic brain injuries like concussion due to the brain hitting the inside of the skull. The force can also cause broken bones, spinal injuries and in some cases, death. So how can we reduce these forces? Well obviously driving more slowly so there is less momentum to lose and braking earlier so that there is more time to decelerate before impact will reduce the force on the car and passengers. But we can't always plan for this, so cars have some special safety features built in. One of these are crumple zones. A crumple zone is an area of a car which is designed to collapse in a controlled way in a car crash. This increases the time over which the car decelerates, slowing the change in momentum and thus reducing the force on the occupants. Modern cars have a rigid safety cell around the occupants, with crumple zones at the front and back made of softer metal. The safety cell is stronger than the crumple zones, which prevents the car body collapsing onto the inhabitants. Airbags are another safety feature, specially designed to protect heads. In a crash, airbags inflate rapidly. The person's head flies forward, and instead of hitting the windscreen, it hits the airbag. Because the airbag has a hole in it, the person's head pushes the air out of the bag. This slows down the head's change in momentum, cushioning the impact and reducing the forces acting upon the person's head, potentially saving them from a traumatic brain injury. Seatbelts work in a similar way. In a crash, even though the car has stopped, your individual momentum keeps you moving forwards until you come in contact with something that will stop this movement. Maybe the steering wheel, dashboard or seats in front of you. This of course would hurt a lot, and so seatbelts work by locking upon impact. They provide a stopping force, holding you in place on your seat, because they are made of material. They have a little bit of stretch, making the impact a little more gentle. The lap and shoulder belt combination means the stopping force is spread across your torso, impacting the relatively sturdy ribs and pelvis. Make sure you always wear a seatbelt. They save thousands of lives every day. So far, we've only looked at cars, but momentum-reducing safety devices are used in lots of things. Crash mats in gyms, helmets, or cushioned surfaces in playgrounds. They are all made of soft material which compresses when people hit them, absorbing some of the energy and reducing the rate of change of momentum. So there we have the dangers of fast deceleration and the force it generates. There are lots of safety features designed to try and reduce our injuries, like car crumple zones, airbags and seat belts, and helmets and crash mats. Stay safe. Please like and share our videos with your friends. If you have any questions that you want help with, just comment below.